Welcome to another episode of Bumpin' Bullseyes. Today we'll be looking at the Ruger Single 10 in 22 Long Rifle. Let's go shooting! Yeah, but the cow was, cow was moving in the back. Well, here we are back in the shop with our Ruger Single 10 and 22 Long Rifle. And you've seen this on the program in the past. has the sandbar stag grips with my horse Pecos painting engraved on them. Give you a close-up of that. On both sides. So, we were talking about this after we shot it, and neither one of us are particularly fond of the fiber optic sights on it. Isn't that what you say? That's right. I don't like it at all. Why? Because you end up just focusing on the green dot and then it moves around and it's much easier for me to line up a, a solid sight in between the back sight. Yeah, and, and on a gun like this, the concept I think where fiber optic rods shine on sights are when you need fast sight acquisition, but more in a defensive role. I'm not so sure how much you really need fast sight acquisition in a firearm like this, where you're probably going to use it for you know, squirrels or rabbits or whatever else, at least my application would be, other than plinking. And again, in plinking, do you really need fast sight acquisition? So... Yeah, the, I think they're kind of lost on me. They're nice, and you get it, and you hold it up, and you can see the sights really well. But what it does for me and my eyesight, it makes it really difficult to see the iron part of the sight. All I can see are those green dots. And, it, and then I'm able to move the sight picture a little off where it should be very easily, where I wouldn't if I could see those clear, crisp lines. Mm -hmm. At least that's how it worked for me. Same with me. So, there's our excuse for not shooting very well today. <laughs> but it's fun gun, and and uh, I think if you wanted to take a squirrel or a rabbit out beyond 100 feet, at least I would have to change these sights out. I really would, because they just are... I could do far better job, I think, without that fiber optic rod in there. But again, that's just me. Well, there you go. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bumpin' Bullseyes. We'll leave you with a little more footage. Till next time. Thanks again, guys, for being patrons. Right. Well, it's shooting really low, so it's shooting the right spot, but it's shooting right. There you go. So you got a line on the left edge of the target. It's just shooting way right. That ends another episode of Bumpin' Bullseyes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time. From Mr. Holster and Mrs. Holster. And Jack. Go out and stay safe.
Well, thanks for joining us on our first episode of Bumping Bullseyes with Mr. and Mrs. Holster. From Mrs. Holster and Mr. Holster. Go out and stay no, safe. No, no, no. <laughs> You're supposed to say, and Jack. Well, I thought of that, but honest to God.